Yes, it's the McLaren Senna, and today I'm going to be doing a good little comparison. Obviously, this car releases June 1st. That's when you'll actually be able to get your hands on it. So, before then, I'm going to do this little thing here, where this video will have two versions of the Senna, and you'll be seeing them put up against each other. This is version 1 of the Senna, our good old, normal, stock, just bought McLaren Senna, with no wide body, nothing, just not even any parts. This is when you buy the Senna. And then we're going to be comparing it with some of the, you know, some of the things that improve the crew cars by a massive margin to see just how fast the Senna can get. First of all, of course, is let's max it out. Let's not just max it out. Let's give it some good parts. There we go, and, uh, well, wide bodies help in the game. There we go, and of course, I did just do a video on them recently, so let's throw on some smooth stretched asphalts too. We'll go right-handed for this one. And finally, let's just, you know, give it some, some flair so you know this center from the other center. There we go, our McLaren center version 2. So, here's your two centers we're going to be comparing today. Version 1 and version 2, both going up against each other. So first and foremost, we're in version 1 of the Senna, and we're going to do a little, I guess, speed test. We're going to see how quickly we get to the road at the end of this, and not only that, but I suppose the acceleration and whatnot. Do these actually have distance? They do. Okay, do we go to- I'm going to go from this side, right? I'm going to go from this side because there's a road on that other side and I'm going to use that as the stopping point. Because it's just easier to use that as the stopping point than vaguely guessing where a straight line from this would be when driving at that speed. So we'll line up with three here in our stock center. You've just bought the center and you're testing its top speed. Just to say, by the way, the weather's looking insane right now. This golden hour lighting is impeccable. Okay, 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 okay. And three, two, one, go. This is our Senna stock with no nitrochemist speed test. We're gonna be going to the road and then directly comparing it to a run in our version 2 Senna, which is a fully maxed out one. We're topping out. Oh, so I suppose not topping out, but we're slowing down, accelerating at around 190, which is not good. Are we even going to make 200 before the road? Ugh. 196 by the road. Here we go. We're back at the start. And this run is the same thing, but with Nitrochemist. We are, or sorry, with just Nitro, and then the second run will be with Nitro Chemist. I'm just going to Nitro when I feel best, you know, when I think we'd gain the most from Nitroing. And you know what? I think I'm going to call that at about here. We'll start Nitroing. We've only got half, well, not half, I suppose. We just have less of a tank. There we go. We got 205 over the line. What I meant was, was we've got a normal tank, whereas Nitro Chem would double the amount that we get. And that is where version 2 of the Senna comes in. Yes, our version with the full Nitro Chemist. This is seeing just how fast the Senna can get. And... Off we go. Already we are gaining speed much, much quicker. When are we going to pass the top of... We're already past 90 on the non nitro chem. There goes 250. Or oh, sorry, 205. And there goes 250. 300 perhaps? Could we hit 300? No, we used up all our nitro chem, but we got 284. Was I think the highest I saw there. 284 with nitro chem. I'll do the non nitro chem run, but... Here's the direct comparison.
Now, the next test I want to do is a more handling based one, and that is salt flats uh, slalom. We're already here in the salt flats, so we're going to do salt flat slalom as opposed to anyone else. And here we go in version one of the center. Of course, no parts, only like the slight few pro settings. That's the only thing staying consistent. Other than that, no parts, no vanities, no nitro chemist. This is just the handling test of a straight out the lot. Again, only pro setting McLaren Senna. And we're going to see just how much we can improve what score we get here. This is without skill, so it's going to be a inherently low score. Whoa, okay, that was shocking. Okay, we're going to have to see how much better we get there, given being in the version 2. We got 10k, 320 points. Oh, we've got a bit unlucky here. It has started to rain. You know what? I'll see this run. If it's better, you can just know for a fact that it would be even better just from, of course, it not raining. The rain is actually handicapping us here, but of course, we're in the buff version of the center. So how much can this handicap really ruin of this run? I want to know which, was it this that we really messed up or was it this one? One of them we went like really wide. Can't utilize the nitro chem too much and we're swinging out a lot more but we did beat the run by 20 points hey we beat it of course we're not using what am i trying to say we're not using skilled so the margin is very small but i think you could see the ghost there and you'll see in the direct comparison how quickly i finished it so there you go And for the final test, I'm going to be throwing the Senna into White Rock Hills. We're going to be doing a direct comparison for this one, just straight. I'm just going to play it and show you the direct comparison of both runs in version 1 to version 2. So, here you go. So, I am going to be talking over these ones, only because, you know, these ones are a bit longer and I, I, there I have some stuff to explain and whatnot. One... The left runs in rain right now, while the right one isn't. Both the grounds were wet, so both affected the same way. And it's not raining for very long in the left run anyway. Right off the bat, you can see just how much faster, obviously, I would be in the right one. In fact, we'll switch over to the right audio just in a minute here. And that's when we get to this first turn on the right, where you can see me make it with seemingly very much ease. But on the left, and I noticed this, the brakes were just shocking. I got lucky that I s sort of squeezed in between the tree line. But one major thing with parts upgrading I noticed is just the brakes were shocking before. And turns that I'm making right now on the right with ease, I, I, like this one on the left, I get to, and it's just like I have to heave it round. It is definitely benefited largely by parts, etc. This shortcut I actually take really well in the version, obviously, without the parts and whatnot. The right does freeze there a little bit. You'll have to mind that. My recording software didn't like recording too sets of the same footage over and over again also i do take shortcuts throughout this run uh, whatever you think of shortcuts i took them so i kept it fair see i hit the wall there on that shortcut which you'll notice on the left side if we ever get to it i don't hit the wall basically because i had less power and that's something that we'll see in this uh, right run here as well sometimes right there the less power helped me and in this shortcut, I believe, I had a massive blunder. I hit a rock. 
and went flying over, and that did give myself a chance on the left to catch up a little bit, but there's really nothing like that happening. You can see I made the shortcut a lot cleaner on the left, and I think we're getting to around the point where I start to have a bit of an issue with the one on the right. I found myself, again, mostly because I've been jumping back and forth there, mostly because I've been jumping back and forth this video, I found myself hitting walls that I really shouldn't have been. I just sort of, <laughs> here as well, I took this terribly, because I just underestimated how much power was under the hood of a maxed out McLaren Senna. It was clearly more than I intended, like that as well, where I hit the wall. But regardless of that, we finish the right run on 3 minutes 4 seconds and enjoy the rest of the left run. There you go, the Senna, and I think that that run was quite interesting. I, I assume I would have already talked on, uh, on it in like a voiceover over the comparison of the runs, but you know what? This Senna, it's pretty good. I think it goes pretty fast. If the question in this video was, how fast can the Senna really go? Pretty damn fast. I think it's quite a good car at the end of the day, and I hope you boys enjoy it and buy it when you get it on June First, it's official release day. Thank you to Ubisoft for letting me be able to play with it early. I'll bid you boys farewell. That's about it from me. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, thank you to popular members, especially thank you to famous members, and an insane, insane thank you to icon members, Dustin for the love of life, and Corey Brown. That's about it from me in a bit.